So today we're talking the American Road poem, a report on Goat Head Fest, and I've got an experiment for you. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeffo. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. Look, folks, I don't know anything. I'm just a dude on a bicycle trying to evolve as a filmmaker, as a writer, poet, and as a human being. Thank you for letting me ride along with you this morning. I appreciate you being here on this beautiful summer morning. It occurred to me over the weekend that it is very much summer. It's like almost midsummer. What is it, midsummer this week? Next week, maybe? And we have not talked about the great American summer poems. Man, that is the third bug I have eaten this morning. <laughs> Delicious and nutritious. So, how was your weekend? Do anything exciting? Stay out of the heat a little bit. Stay hydrated. Oh my gosh. I was so dehydrated after Saturday. Did not drink enough water before the Goat Head Fest pedal powered parade. It was a lot of fun, you guys. If you're watching the video version, obviously you can see what's going on. I'll throw some clips of some video I took while I was there. We had a good time. I didn't see what the final count was on the, uh, the parade, but Anecdotally, people are saying there's so many more people than I've ever seen. I didn't get that impression, but again, I don't know anything. Oh, let's hit it. Oh, we got all the bags too. Here's a riding tip. If you've got a bicycle that has a really light front end and you've got panniers and a backpack on and you hit a wall, just remember that front end's gonna fly up <laughs> really fast. We're gonna talk about that. I'm doing this video series also for, I'm calling it the Morning Ride podcast, pedal powered podcast. But it's basically just some, a video series on uh, some things that I've discovered that work particularly well for me for bicycle commuting. One of them's about how to load your bags and what happens if your front wheel comes off the ground because everything gets wonky. <laughs> if your bike is weighted weird. Hey, good morning. I love seeing the summer hats. Anyway, Goat Head Fast was a blast. We got to ride with e &M and a few thousand other people. Support local bicycle and pedestrian nonprofits in the area. It's a very cool thing to get to do. I'm very proud we get to do it. Plus, it's just a lot of fun seeing all the people in the costumes. Saw a dude wearing a, a shark head, shark hat, not a head, a shark hat. It was like a, uh, a skull cap, but it had a shark fin on it. Never seen that except in the cartoons. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Um, we also saw a guy on roller skates, sunglasses, and a Speedo being pulled behind his girlfriend or wife and a bike and they had a little wagon behind it that looked like waves. So I guess he was surfing behind her. That was very creative. A lot of creative things. We had that, we saw the couch bike. It takes like three or four people to ride that thing. It's kind of interesting to see that one. Hey. So, I've been thinking about the difficulties I have here. Hey, good morning. I'm trying to bring poetry into this podcast, which I've been trying to do for a long time, and I haven't figured it out. So what I did is I recorded a poem, oh, a while ago, actually. And I thought what we could try to do is I'm gonna play it on my phone, and uh, we can see, uh-oh, we got a lot of things going on up here. Hey, good morning. All right, 
we got a lot of folks, so we'll hang on just a second. <laughs> but I thought what I would try to do is, is play a recording from my phone into the microphone, and let's see if we can hear this in the recording. I don't know. Maybe it's just going to sound weird. But uh, let's try this out. So this is the... Uh, it's actually... I don't know if it's a poem, but it's... Because uh, there's no title, but it's basically in the prologue to Campbell McGrath's book. The poem's called American Noise. American Noise by Campbell McGrath. Boxcars and electric guitars, ospreys, oceans, glaciers, coins, the whisper of the green corn kachina, the hard sell, the fast buck, casual traffic, nothing at all. Nighthawks of the 24-hour donut shops, maples inflamed by the sugars of autumn, aspens lilting sap yellow and viridian, concrete communion of the clover leaves and the interchanges, psalms, sorrow, gold mines, zydeco, alfalfa, 14th street, sheets of rain across the hills of Antietam, weedy bundles of black-eyed Susans in the vacant lots of Baltimore, smell of eggs and bacon at Denny's, outside Flagstaff, 4 a.m., Bindle stiffs, broken glass, the solitary drifter, the sprinkles of suburbia, protest rallies, rocket launches, traffic jams, swap meets, the home shopping network hawking cubic zirconium, song of the chainsaw and the crack of the bat, Wheels of progress and mastery, tugboats, billboards, foghorns, folk songs, pinball machines, and mechanical hearts, brave words spoken in ignorance, dance music from the Union Hall, knots of migrant workers like buoys among waves or beads in the green weave of the strawberry fields around Watsonville, the faithful touched by tongues of flame in the Elvis cathedrals of Vegas, wildflowers and anthracite, smokestacks and sequoias, avenues of bowling alleys and flamingo tattoos, car alarms, windmills, wedding bells, the blues. All right, so that is from the prologue of Camel McGrath's collection of poems called American Noise. Woo! <laughs> Let's see if I can get my phone back in my pocket there. And I love it because he does kind of what a lot of the great American poets have done. And it's just a catalog of things that one might see if they were traveling across America. Now, our first example of this, of course, is Mr. Whitman, Walt Whitman. He's done a, a lot of catalog poems and it's, he uh, just kind of talks his way through a scene or multiple scenes. I love that. And there was a child went forth. Uh, also, I hear America singing her varied carols, I hear, where he basically kind of goes through a catalog of all the different people that make up America, the different uh, occupations, and everyone engaged with their occupation, doing what they do, and how when we're all engaged with doing what we do, that makes up what is America. I also think about like the big road trip, the big expanse, living out in uh, kind of the Western America here in Idaho. We think about that with road trips a lot because it's basically a pretty significant road trip no matter what we do. It's uh, not easy to get to Boise on the road. You have to kind of be going through. So there's a lot of uh, road trip possibilities from here. I think about my dad cruising around Route 66 in his 72 Cadillac convertible. <laughs> Just a cool image. I think of Jack Kerouac on the road. Back and forth across America a few times. And how, what is it about the road? What is it about road trips that are so distinctly American? When I'm talking with Europeans, they're like, you guys are so funny because like you'll just hop in a car and go. It's like, well, for one, we don't have trains like you guys do, and for two, we're a lot bigger than you guys are. So to get there, you kind of got to, uh-oh, I've got this mail truck behind me. He's wanting to get by. Anyway, I've been thinking about the road trip poems and how I, I, I think of them as summer poems because as a kid, that's when the family always got together to take trips.
Whew. That's unnerving having someone just right behind you. He was being totally cool though. I appreciate that. But no, I think about the American poems and I think there's something of summer in them for me. All the road trippy stuff. And then I think about summer movies and everyone crossing the desert in the movies. You know, I'm thinking about, uh, well, I guess natural born killers, but that's not a great example. <laughs> Uh, Obsolidia, that's a great one, man. We haven't seen that one, and I love seeing that one in the summer. It's a great uh, indie film by Diane Bell, and uh, that was her first feature. It's really, really charming. It's got some great, uh, she gets a lot of nerd points for visiting strange museums. And Dude, just not looking at all. I wouldn't walk out in front of people on a bike, but. It is oblique at times, isn't it? Man, look at all the people out. The other thing is, <laughs> you maybe don't know this, but it is a lot later than it should be. <laughs> it's like almost nine o'clock. I don't know what happened today. Well, for one, we did stop at Push and Pour, and that was, uh, that was a bit of a wait. Ah, looks like they got an event going on today. So we will remember. This part of the bike path is no longer a bike path today. <laughs> well, folks, that's what I got for you. I got you the prologue to American Noise. Check out Campbell McGrath. If you uh, are looking for a, a fairly easy to get into book of poetry. Good morning, hey, good morning. I think American Noise is a great entry point into contemporary American poetry, although that book is probably 15 years old now. It came out a while ago. Um, if you were born in the 70s, though, there's probably a lot of references that you'll get. He does a lot of 80s references. He's, uh, he's about my age. I think he works down in Florida, University of Florida, maybe. Anyway, check out Campbell McGrath. Great, uh, great summer poetry, I think. Fun poetry. It's uh, pretty uh, accessible, pretty easy to get it on the first go around. And folks, I hope that you have a fantastic week. I hope that if you love riding a bicycle, that you have an opportunity to get on a bicycle. I'm grateful that I get to get out on this ride every morning with you. Well, I mean, I know we only ride together two days a week, but. I know you're out there doing your ride. I'd love to hear about it, man. Hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at Morning Pedal Pod. I know it's horrible, but uh, hit me up there or Jeffo at MorningRidePodcast.com and uh, let me know about your ride. Maybe we could ride together sometime. I'd like that. So whatever your uh, ride is, I hope that you have a chance to get on it. It's the only one we got. Grateful to be on it with you, folks. <laughs>